Hi everyone and welcome to a GarageBand tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can adjust the pan, reverb and volume of your tracks so that you can create cool effects. The first button we need to go to is over here. But first, here is my example track. I have some typed in musical compositions and some loops. So we click on this button over here. This brings up this tab. As we can see, I've already been playing around a little bit. Let's do volume first. Volume is a great way to get those fade ins and fade outs that you might want. So we just pull these around, make some new ones, click once and drag. Let's listen to how that sounds. Next, let's do some pan. Again, double click. When we pull this down, we see that it goes to the right ear. When we pull it out, we go to the left ear. Let's make it really crazy and obvious. Let's listen to how this sounds. Finally, some reverb. Make sure reverb is connected. Put that all the way up. Bring it down again. And let's have some reverb right at the end. You can drag, drag side to side as well if needed. So there you go. If you need to play around with this more, please feel free to download this video from Schoology and make your own example tracks and have a play. Remember, it can always be reversed.